to the supervisor. As of July 26, a few media sources have revealed that 884 people have had criminal allegations brought against them because of moves they initiated during the January 6, 2021, assault on our country's capital. The greater part of these people have been accused of no less than one crime and 218 have been condemned. But Donald Trump, the man straightforwardly dependable, as broad proof has shown, for making, instigating and eventually never really halting the poisonous and hazardous environment that prompted the dangerous anarchy a large number of us saw on January 6, keeps on enjoying unheard of extravagance and comfort, all while venturing to every part of the nation holding rallies during which he advances the large untruth and implying to his allies he will run for president in 2024. I comprehend that a principal legal officer named by the contradicting party accusing a previous leader of criminal wrongdoing before a midterm political race should have been visible as hardliner governmental issues even from a pessimistic standpoint. By the by, assuming that we are to accept and confide in the words, wrote by Francis Bellamy and educated to us as kids to recount with our hand over our heart that there will be freedom and equity for all, nobody, including a previous president, ought to at any point be exempt from the rules that everyone else follows. The people who heard Mr. Trump beg them to battle like damnation as a source of inspiration, to carry brutality to the seat of our majority rules government have had their lives perpetually different and not for a long-term benefit. It is just barely that Mr. Trump be considered answerable for his job in causing that savagery. Without a doubt, as we are a country of regulations and not men, it is imperative to have equity for all not simply equity for some. New York Times journalist Jeremy Peters addressed MSNBC on Monday about his new report that the Fox organization and Rupert Murdoch outlets are driving Donald Trump away. Citing the piece Nickel Wallace on cutoff time White House noticed that Trump hasn't been consulted on the organization for 100 days. Fox has generally tried not to show him live and on second thought has helped different Republicans, said Wallace, taking note of that the organization has opposed showing Trump's occasions live. Peters made sense of that the Fox network never pursues choices that aren't founded on their crowd. By not showing Donald Trump comprehend that their crowd will be fine with not seeing Donald Trump on an interminable circle as he was displayed for such countless years during his White House and his two official missions, said Peters. I don't believe that implies Fox has said a final farewell to Trump and he's been grumbling about this since they've been putting on Ron DeSantis. Ron DeSantis was on Fox Meets two times in under five days, and that sort of stuff makes Trump insane in light of the fact that however much he might get a kick out of the chance to provoke, Fox notwithstanding, he eventually needs them. What's more, where he likes to be is at the focal point of the consistent pattern of media reporting, and that is not where he is at the present time. He proceeded to say that the fundamental explanation that the Murdochs have continued on from Trump is that he won't quit discussing the 2020 political race being taken from him. While Trump has convinced his devotees to advance his connivance, it's a little level of the American public. What I think the Murdochs are on to is that most swing citizens, by far most of the swing electors, that you have left, and the independents, and, surprisingly, many Trump allies, don't have any desire to hear him griping constantly, Peters made sense of. They would rather not hear him make this about him, how he's been ransacked, and he needs to proceed to retaliate for this grave treachery executed against him. They in all actuality do feel worn out on hearing his whimpering, and that is the very thing the Murdochs have focused in on. Previous Republican planner Tim Miller made sense of that they will do nothing to cause Trump to vanish, except for in the event that they could snap their fingers and get it going. 